here's Reggie Keith. He's purring and contented in spite of having to wear the collar. Yeah. Let me make sure. Who's a good boy? Yeah. So his collar is here on him to prevent him from licking because he's had the demodex mites eating away at him, at his skin. It started on the back. He's having a lot of redness on the back here. And then I noticed it had moved down his arms and they were looking quite raw and red. But now they've improved quite a bit. And uh, this other arm here, it's all the way up into his to his little armpitties, but he's such a good boy. So it took a little research, but I did find out that um, although they recommend lime sulfur dips, <laughs> there's no way I'm getting a lime sulfur dip. It's very stinky, hard to apply. So the other option, the home remedy option, is um, diluted apple cider vinegar. I do an approximately a one-to-one -one ratio um, because full strength, it can still be irritating to sensitive skin. Um, that was followed by uh, aloe vera gel, and uh, I was able to also find a 0.5% over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream with aloe vera, which is also applied to take down the itch because it's very itchy, as you can imagine, being bitten by mites like this. And um, so, so that helped, and uh, for any ones that showed signs of infection, the, uh, I read that there is a fulsic acid combined with, um, it's an antibiotic combined with a hydrocosteroid. I'm not sure if you can get over the counter or not, but the taromipercin is also an ointment that has been used for cat scratch bites, injuries, and I, I just um, did a little bit of it mixed with the hydrocortisone cream to uh, apply to those that look the worst, and things are improving quite a bit just within the last week. Now the life cycle of Demodex mites is 14 days. However, uh, when they're doing lime sulfur dips, um, they recommend doing it for nine weeks. So I'm not sure if the mites just recur. I know that they live on everybody's skin. And if there is a particularly oily area of the skin, that tends to be where they breed and multiply and then create the problems, especially if anyone's immune system is compromised and I don't know about his, but um, that's how this problem started, by feeding him the royal canin, heron skin, and the omega-3s, which were intended to improve his skin, which it did, but over the three weeks that it was improving his skin, it was providing food for the Demodex mites, which caused them to sort of start uh, multiplying on his typically forearms and... Uh, side of his face and uh, his back and that was the telltale marks and signs to allow me to figure out I'll just say the word diagnose even though you're not supposed to <laughs> figure out that he had demodex mites which the vet totally overlooked and uh, yeah with the revolution um, his ear mites also a bit overlooked um, that didn't respond to the underdose treatment of Revolution the first time um, or the second application of, uh, I'm not quite sure what, but the third application of Revolution within days, those ear mites in his ears, the, the ear dirt, completely cleared up. So there are only a few. And of course, being the life cycle of a, a mite, it's uh, approximately 14 days. That's how long it can take to see improvement. So we're seeing improvement on his legs. His ears are nice now. Everything's good with him. He's a very lucky boy and he's a very good boy, very compliant with everything. So hope that helps someone else.